Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick review. Today we're going to be talking about the Axis Studio uh, software update. So Noitom uh, came up with this uh, studio update just uh, I think a few days ago and it's actually significant. Um, what if most of you may know or may not know is that the axis, uh, the perception neuron suit comes in three flavors. So there's the 1.0 and 2.0 version, right? And then there's the pro version, and then there's the studio version. So the one that we're talking about today is the axis studio version. So this one comes with a hand, you can do like finger capture as well as a full body. And the pro version has a similar, you know, technology and set up as the studio version the difference is that this one the pro version doesn't capture fingers so you don't get gloves with it but this one comes with a glove you know, this is something that we've been wanting for a long time so they finally added it to it so and then the 2.0 version and 1.0 version both capture fingers and so that's on the lower end in terms of prices i think right now it's about uh 14.99 you know these prices change whenever there's like a promotion of some kind going on so 1.0 and 2.0 2.0 is a little bit better in terms of uh, stability than 1.1.0 and i imagine 1.0 is uh, probably at some point going to be phased out so if you're entry level uh 1.0 is a good way to start and then 2.0 is uh something that you can definitely i think it's about the same price now i don't know if some i've seen some places where people are selling their 1.0 for maybe half of the price but um i do recommend the 2.0 if you're starting out and you're on a budget yeah okay so back to the access studio version and let me bring it up so this is the new version and if you are new to perception neuron you might not even notice the changes right and uh, the interface is a little bit it's about the same but there are some back end changes that they've done and you're going to see that in the da in the data that we test today and so this the version prior to this update looked like this the skeleton looks different you know and you can actually see the differences here in the west area and also in the chest area that's how you you're able to know if you have the most recent update that has the data that i'm going to show you or if you have you know the previous version so this is the version before this version that you see on the left hand side and there's a there's a reason why i'm bringing this up because i've been using the perception run, uh, suit for a while now and i've kept up with the updates and i know the differences when the data is getting better and better so here in the east version uh so the one that i just showed you uh this one yeah the data in that version looked like this so for example the cartwheel right if we if we play it back and i'm gonna track it so as the character or the representational skeleton here is moving the, there was an issue with and i can slide it back to where like around here so when the hands came in contact with the ground yeah do you see that so that's supposed to be on the ground just like when you do a cartwheel in real life you're supposed to be your hands are supposed to be on the ground so that, that was an issue so if that data is taken into a 3d program this is exactly what you are going to get right so it looks like the hand is not even on the ground at all this one tries, I mean, the right hand tries, but the left hand is floating up in the air, okay? So that was the previous version before the, that, that's what the data was like. Now let's bring up the 2.0 version of this particular data, cartwheel. All right, so this is a, this is the new update now you're gonna see the, the difference let's play back and make sure we track the character big difference did you see that guys all right let me back up let's go to where the hands are touching the ground right there so if i zoom in the hands are now touching the ground just like you would expect correct and so 
this is what you this this is the improvement that you're gonna get when you use the new uh, access studio update this is why it, this is a major major update when it comes to correct data and stability <laughs> and accuracy so let me go let me rewind and play it back cut well there we go so when i was uh, younger in my teenage years i suppose in my 20s i could do a cut well really well but now that i'm a little bit older graying <laughs> a little bit <laughs> I, I try to do a car wheel and I find I hear things creaking <laughs> so if you have a really good uh, like motion capture actor that can do flips you can do somersaults uh, you're gonna be you you should expect much better better data in the access studio update than what we had before so Noitom, uh, thank you guys for this awesome update and so I'm gonna show you something else significant so previously when you did uh, a push-up and again that update is the kind of data you would expect in this access to so this the suit itself has not been updated but it is the software that has been updated that is uh, capturing the data more accurately yeah so this is the push-up prior to the update right and you're gonna let's zoom in so you can see Let's play back and you can see the hands are moving, right? That's not accurate. Now the feet look good, right? And if you look at the back here, the feet look more stable than the, the hands. Because these are inertia suits, it's not a camera based suit. Uh, so you, you those are issues that you would expect in an inertia suit. So the improvement that they've done, if we bring up the push up uh, 2.0, watch this. So if I zoom in again, in playback you see how much more stable that is that's what i would expect so even if there's like ever so slight in terms of uh, the fingers those are things that you can easily correct in when you're cleaning up mock-up now remember mock-up is never a hundred percent it's very difficult to find motion capture data that is a hundred percent and the industry is gonna improve the hardware is gonna improve the software is gonna improve but for now what we have um, can be cleaned up so what I see here in terms of this new update is going to be a good thing for those who have the perception neuron access studio now this is not applicable to the pro version or the 2.0 or 1.0 version this update is for the access studio and so when you invest in it you're going to expect much better accuracy instability in terms of data mock-up data so, okay so that's the push-up very very good in terms of how much it has improved now let's talk, let's talk look at uh, staircases in the previous version i don't think even had like a staircase but we had running and jumping so but let's try the staircase i've struggled with the 1.0 and 2.0 version to do a character going up and down the steps but this is a significant improvement look at that the character is literally walking up in the air and let me zoom out so we can actually track it can come back all the way that is very very stable and let's see so previously when he came back when the character would come back all the way to the ground the, the feet would penetrate the ground plane so let's see what happens very good so the character is back to the same plane that you would expect right and that is the the improvement that they've done which is very 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 significant so you're able to capture the fingers as well as the full body mock-up uh, data uh, motion capture performance of the actor and the ability to go up and down the steps so what this translates to so if a character where to go up into a plane for example if they are going to like a cargo you know airship or something like that this is what you want you want to be able to capture that uh, performance by the actor so that you can record this and apply it to your character or if they're getting into a car a vehicle right if they're going out into the house if they're coming out of a house if they're jumping out of a window and landing that's what this update means so i am very very happy <laughs> to see that this has been addressed you know 
And again, just to remind you, this is Access Studio. It's not the 2.0 version. It's not a 1.0 version. And I don't have, ch have yet to check the Pro version to see if the improvement is there as well. When I check it, I'll be able to do a quick review. But this is very, very significant. So let me bring up fencing, right? So this is another significant addition. Before you had you would have like one single character, but up at the top here you can see there are two characters, which means like if for example you're sending the character to uh, Reillusion Iclone, you can actually stream two characters into Iclone when they are like fencing. So this, if I play it back, this is what you expect. So you could have two motion capture suits of your character, and it could also be one suit with multiple texts but this is obviously two people in the same room so that you get a one-to-one -one ratio right so because uh, i was watching the but the making of avatar and how the characters were interacting it is extremely helpful when you have people multiple people doing mock-up in the same space than waiting to do just one character then bringing another character and then having to put back put it every put everything back together so this is very very significant very good very helpful and the stability of the data is awesome thank you noitum <laughs> thank you guys for uh, an awesome update so in my next review my next uh, video i'll be doing uh, testing this out in iclone to see how the characters are actually interacting but today i want just wanted to focus on the differences between the update and the previous data so you could see how much improvement there is so let's bring up finger movement regular finger movement the previous version again it's coming from this that's the previous version that's this is what the data looked like before let's play back yeah so let's look at the fingers it looks good right it looks great and the feet look very stable i always want to zoom in close as close as possible to see if there's any sliding of the feet and this looks pretty stable yeah right and that was the that's the, before the update so now let's take a look at the 2.0 update for the data that's labeled 2.0 and let's play back and certainly there is improvement you can see how the fingers are folding nicely yeah and just look at the feet very stable no sliding very good so Guys, if you have an Axis Studio suit, make sure you update your software to the new version, the, the firmware update. And uh, I think, I mean, for medium-sized studios who can afford the Axis Studio, I think this is a good suit to have for sure. And I can tell you that uh, the encasement of the neurons in the two in the Pro version in the Axis Studio suit version are greatly improved and protect against uh, magnetism which was a big big problem previously so guys uh, i think this is an awesome update and i recommend it i'll do some more testing with real characters <laughs> real or virtual characters three characters in iclone and i also do a test in and the unreal engine and share that so but thank you for joining me today and uh, please don't forget to subscribe spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted when i post a new video on my next uh, review thank you so much and kindly support this video by clicking like and I'll, if you have an access studio suit i would love to hear from you please share your comments questions i'll do my best to answer them thank you very much